Welcome to Big Sky. Welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm Cody and like I said we're in Big Sky and it's kind of nice because it's back where it all began. So in 2020 Olivia who's behind the camera and I came to Big Sky to shoot our first tack. First video that ever came to the channel and now we're back and it's beautiful as you can see. Uh, four years later global pandemic a couple kids including one just a couple months ago and we're going to try and shoot the jack Links course today. So first target up here is a big hog, Auxilla target, uh, which is 79, 80 yards. So uh, as is appropriate for tack, they don't really mess around. So we'll see how we can start. The registration line was long, so we didn't, we didn't check our bows after however many hours driving, but so be it. Foam, a little high, a little high, but foam on the first target is a big win. So it's gonna be a gorgeous day. I mean, mountains, elevation, exasperation, but we're gonna have fun. <laughs> you hit that branch. I know, I heard it hit the branches. But you're still in foam. Yeah, from Here's our first target, both in foam, which is a win. We're gonna say that's like 14. Yeah, we're gonna say that's a, a du the double 12. <laughs> so for so for hitting a branch, not bad, not bad place to look at either. So the second target, the first one, which is almost entirely obscured, just kind of over some brush over the side of. The slope, 46 yards, like mini Sasquatch. You have gotta a watch. slightly better vantage point than I yeah. do, but gotta watch your bubble. it's down there somewhere. I didn't carry over that brush. <laughs> that did not sound fun. That might be gone. <laughs> Just to the left of like his nose? That's right. Kind of just through the grass? Yeah, you're, you should go right over that, I would guess. Sounded foamy. Can't see it, so it dropped in there somewhere. <laughs> you're safe. I hit that brush. I don't even know where, where it would have gone. Yeah, I'm guessing it went low, but. So, target three. Cons of being the first one on the hill is that we couldn't find the target for a while because it's so obscured. So we're shooting between a couple trees, of course. White-tailed deer, about 40-ish yards. Small, small window. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. Nice. A little left. Still. In there. Every time. 53. Black bear. Just above the snow. Seems relatively open. Compared to the first three. So target four. Down one arrow already, which is awesome. Maybe someone will find it. It'll be shattered. Nice. It's better. Just getting warmed up.
number seven, Jack Lynx. Standing at the cone, you're supposed to shoot between the V, but if we move a couple feet over, wide open shot. So, are we gonna back away? Nah, we'll shoot at the cone. All right. 29. I need to yeah. verify from over here. I was thinking it doesn't look that far. 29, but uphill, really. Watch your bubble on this one. Us flatlanders who don't really care about third axis, except for tree stands, could be in trouble. High, but between the trees and in foam. A little bit of brush right in front, huh? Yep, always. A little low. Mm, that's pretty good, though. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because he's downhill. Yeah. On the line. It counts. Count it? On the line is in. 39. Jackling's course. A marsupial of sorts. Looks like a raccoon. I don't think that's actually a marsupial. I have no idea. I don't think so. so <laughs> marsupials are kangaroos and stuff. Awesome. Raccoon. I don't know how a raccoon is classified. 46 yards. Please double check your sight. Hmm. It's putting a lot of tension on that one, I guess. Well, it's not a very big target, but we're in foam. Nice. I don't know if I should just take a step over there or shoot off my knees. I don't know. Just taking a step over help? Yeah, because it clears it for sure. Nice. I don't know if I would have hit it or not. It's a great shot either way. Yeah. This one. Yeah. I was thinking you were looking at that little tree. No, there. no, 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 no. The one that's like halfway up there. Yep. You're going to arc right into that. There's the target right there. Oh, I was just shooting. You can do whatever you want. It's fifty-one. That's the good thing about tack. It is what you make it. You can step forward, you can move away from the cone. Yeah, 51. We're just gonna shoot from here. All right. Is that cheating? Nope. Tend to yes. Forward. I missed the branch though. Because I was forward. <laughs> And off the go. <laughs> 43. This is 11. Yeah, 11. Is it a little bear, a little pig? Bear, pig. Something? Man, bear, pig. It's black. In the shade. Or the snow. Oh. Change your slider. Change my slider. Distracted.
We're in there. Sounded good. Yeah. I lost it every time I put my <laughs> yeah. nose up to the stream. Snow and mud. Attack 2024. Big Sky Montana. Jack Links. We're halfway through. Halfway Water through. station's right up there. Is it? Yep. Oh, look at that. Uh, thoughts so far? Uh, shooting okay. Down one arrow. Mm -hmm. Um, thanks to some brush, uh, pretty steep, uh, the distances have been pretty manageable actually. Yeah. The first one was 80, but everything's been way shorter. Yeah. 40s, even some in the 30s, so. The hiking's kind of been a mix. There's been some yeah, pretty course. steep kind of trekking and some we're just following this like access road. Yeah. So. Can't complain, we'll see what the second half brings. Target 12, Sasquatch. The same shot as it was in 2020. I was gonna say, you remember the shot? Yeah. I feel like it was more towards the end last time though, but. 75, it's right such a big middle. target. It doesn't seem like it's that far away. Yeah. All right, 75. I think last time I hit it right in the forehead. Yeah, one of us did. We're gonna go for a stern shot today. <clears throat> I cannot tell. Forehead? No. His left areola. <laughs> so, a little bit right. Right in the chest. Lost it. I lost it too. <laughs> Felt left, maybe. But we'll see. I don't know. All right, this is going to be easy, he says. Yeah, 50. Life-size mountain goat. You do have the little spruce tree there, kind of crowding the ring, so everybody's going to yeah. end up shooting forward. But Again, is what you make it if you stand next to the cone. The vitals are covered if you take one step that way. It becomes easier. You're right on the cone. Close. Let the record show. Easy. Easy. It might be a 12. It's a good shot. Nice. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who's better. Those are both good shots. Yeah. They looked good. We were overconfident. Easy. We're in foam. I think I'm closer than you are, though. Maybe? So we got a tight turkey. It's only 35 yards. What target is it? 17. 17. 35 yards, so splitting pins for me. Brush all around. 
probably about the, got the size of a softball to get it through. I would say. A baseball. Between a softball. <laughs> yeah, if you listen to the Attack podcast, that's a joke. But between a softball and volleyball, we'll say 35. Hit brush, but we're in there. You're in there. We'll see. Sounded good. Nice. Clear, maybe a little bit high of like the rings, but good. Yeah, I was gonna say I might be barely in there, but I just kind of split. I put 30 pin on top of him and 40 yeah. pin below him. Yeah. No, you're in the insert right in the for middle, sure. So. Yeah. She finally missed. Tiny turkey. 54 yards. No, maybe okay. Watch if he's part of it. Oh, yeah, I'm in the ground. Just hang in there. Chip almost came out. You have to bend it? Knock his. To knock, knock his out. trash? Well, not trash, just. Oh, loose. Yeah, you can yeah. just push that back in. It's a survivor. Are okay, scraped, but in fact, all good. I only got one green one, so if I'm shooting with a different one later, you'll know. 52 on uh, target 23, fallow deer. Took, took us took a little us, bit to find it. it. Took us a good probably two minutes to even find where it is. Was yeah. up here in the shadows. It's up there. So, Let's see if I can. Yeah, it's up there somewhere. We are looking over there. It's tough to see. It's spotted in half shade, half sun. So. Yep. Wait. Foam. Did it though? Yeah. Foam is home. That looked really good. A little bit left of yours? Yeah. Farther back from I you? think it's really good. Yeah. So that's what we were after. A good shot by Olivia for sure. I was a little bit forward. Been shooting right. So gonna have to hit the range and see what's up with that. But a couple targets to go. Can't even get a range. Got a ram up there. 31. Well, I like, I don't remember which one it was. Eight, 19? Where, again, if you stand at the cone. There's been a couple of them like that. It's really 10, tough. I think, was like that. But you take two steps over there, it's open because we got this little evergreen in front, and then we got another one which makes a really tight shot window. But Right, so here. Versus standing at the cone. You got trees in the way. Yeah. So 31. We'll see if the trees interfere. Hit a couple branches there. <laughs> <laughs> it ended up pretty good. I think I hit both. I think you shot through some away. some branches, but good ended shot. Up, ended up okay. Good shot. Thirty one. So you see using my bottom pin, I gotta remind myself whenever it's thirty something. Yeah. Are you just kinda shooting through that little tree up there? I was tall enough there? where it was okay, but okay. nice. Hit the gap. Just about to say, I'm just gonna shoot right through and see what happens. <laughs> Couple of really good shots. Yeah, we both missed the 12 ring, but second to last target. I feel like uh, I'm just getting warmed up. Just getting warmed up. <laughs> my, last, my last two or three shots have been better than any of the others. Today. Not a cloud in the sky. No, it's getting hot. It's getting hot for sure. It's getting hot. 
ready to get off the mountain. 41, our authentic Montana mountain beaver for target 25 out of 25. Not a big target. If you miss, you're going into the stream. And you're supposed to, if you shoot from right by the cone, go over the branch. So that's what we're going to go for. Why not? Just got to see where the rings are. Not that I'm gonna hit him anyway. But... <laughs> Can't hit him if you don't know where they are. Nope. 41. Last target. Bit high. Sounded Not bad. good though. Made it. One arrow down. It's frustrating, really. Just below me. Same say back, right where yours is. All safe though. Yeah, same arrow. Well the same. One arrow, whole time. You only missed once, but we found it. Yeah, clean miss. So that's that. Total Archer Challenge 2024 Big Sky. Jack Link's course, lots of fun. On three hours and 15 minutes, but we're still hiking back to base camp. So uh, I'm not sure how long it's gonna take us to get back, but certainly a couple minutes. Lots of fun. If you shoot a tack course, uh, just a PSA, pay attention to your ribbons and pay attention to your cones. So our course, cones 19, through 25, uh, you really had to pay attention. And we actually found some people that had gotten off their course and then our course ends up merging with loopholes. And so just pay attention because people going off of the path is how people get hurt and nobody wants it. So just pay attention. The cone numbers look different. Pay attention to the font on the cone numbers. Uh, ribbon color sometimes matters. So just pay attention. Yeah. We're under a zip line here, but. It looks like fun. Next year. Next year. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. Lots of fun. Uh, we might go shoot another course this afternoon. We'll see. It's getting hot. We need to get some food. We need to get some water. Um, that's how it goes. So uh, get out and shoot your bow. Get out and do a total archery challenge event. They're totally worth it. Uh, we like the early knock times. We didn't have to wait really at all today which is a blessing because otherwise it can take a long time and like we said it's getting quite warm so get out and shoot your bow thanks for watching leave a comment below subscribe we're going to be in south dakota in a week's time so we'll see you then